On to Nigeria now. The country's finance minister says the country must not, in fact, her exact words was, cannot borrow more to fund its budget and instead has to raise money by other means. Now, this approach calls into question planned foreign loans of about two or so billion dollars from lenders like the World Bank and the Africa Development Bank as well. Africa's largest economy is in its first recession in 25 years. It had planned to borrow pretty heavily from overseas to fund a record budget aimed at helping the country to bootstrap its way out of the economic doldrums, as it were. The finance minister, Camelio Shun's comments suggest that Nigeria, though, will no longer be looking for such debt or an additional $1.5 billion that it had planned to raise from international debt markets in May. The head of Nigeria's budget office said the country had a shortfall of $7.5 billion for its 2017 uh, planned expenditure and said that it would be addressed with $3.5 billion worth of foreign debt. Let's get some analysis right now. Sam Ohwabono is a former chair of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group. He's live in Lagos tonight. Thank you for your time, sir. Um, tell us, what is Nigeria's current debt limit and how close is it to actually hitting that level? Well, I think the country has set itself uh, uh, for this year a maximum debt limit uh, of about 19.36% of the GDP. Uh, and as at the end of quarter 4, 2016, and in fact in the first quarter of 2017, we have reached about 18.6% uh, of uh, GDP, uh, which means we have just less than 0.07% uh, uh, that we can borrow, and that's like a uh, maximum of about uh, two to three uh, billion dollars. Uh, that's the maximum, and I'm sure some of the borrowing in, in process that haven't hit the, the balance sheet uh, must have brought us close to reaching that limit. So uh, that's, that's perhaps why we have to put the bricks uh, on borrowing. Uh, indeed. Uh, so given the finance minister's comments, I mean, this would suggest that the talks with the World Bank and the African Development Bank, those are completely off the table now, aren't they? Well, they wouldn't be off the table because uh, we're looking at a rolling plan uh, and then the, the, the change might happen. Uh, we might be close to our limit as of 2017, but we still have space for 20. 18, 2019. So I, I believe that some of the discussions can go on uh, and then we can uh, draw down uh, as we have space in our borrowing uh, uh, budgets and estimates so that we don't break our laws and then get to the place where we're having problem with servicing the debt because debt servicing is already growing uh, at, at, at a, a, fair, a, fair, a fair level as at 2017. Indeed. Uh, so the finance minister is saying we need to focus more on raising funds domestically, which raises two rather interesting questions. Uh, first of all, does that completely also rule out more domestic borrowing in the rest of the second half of the year? And second, should we expect any changes to the tax code? Well, I think that the government is looking at the totality of uh, options open to it. Uh, it suddenly found, by perhaps after doing a proper arithmetic at the end of quarter one, that the window for borrowing is, uh, it's, 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 it's not broad. Uh, and what is more, uh, domestic borrowing is about three times external borrowing. And, and that is large uh, and, and uh, crowding out um, the private sector. Uh, so the government is looking at other sources and one source they are putting a lot of effort is on internally generated revenue through taxation, widening the tax net, getting more people voluntarily, uh, getting because our tax um, today, tax to GDP rate of about 6% uh, is famous, has been one of the lowest in the world. And therefore, this is where there's an opportunity. So there's an effort to grant what they call amnesty to those who have their uh, did, you know, uh, uh, fail to meet their uh, tax obligations in the past uh, and offer them uh, some kind of face paying plan so that many more people can come on, on bid. The government is focusing on this to generate revenue and so as to reduce uh, the tax liability. Indeed, one last question I for mean, you, uh, sir. Sorry, the borrowing liability. Right. Let, let's, let's, let's wrap this up, though. So with no more borrowing being in the pipeline for the rest of the year, should we expect any spending cuts to come?
Well, that would be a natural consequence because this year's budget was to be funded with about 2.36 trillion naira uh, from, uh, from, 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 from the debt market. And if we have found as we are now that we are close to our limits, uh, the natural thing would be to cut back on some uh, expenditure.